Welcome to Ranger Planet. In this video, we'll help you understand the three main types of mammals and how to tell the difference. Before we begin, please like this video as it helps us create more helpful wildlife content like this. Mammals on average have about 6,000 different species in their group or class. Mammals are members who belong to the group of animals called mammalia. All members of this group share certain physical characteristics and are descended from the same ancestors. How mammals are divided. Mammals are divided mainly based on how their babies develop and how they give birth. The three types of mammals are monotremes, marsupials, and placentals. Among these three types of mammals, the placental mammals are by far the largest type of mammals that exist in the world. Monotreme mammals. Mammals that lay eggs fall into the type of monotremes, and are therefore members of the mammalian order monotremes. Monotremes are different from other types of mammals. They're the only types of mammals that don't give birth to developed young, and instead lay eggs. These mammals have a body temperature that is lower than most warm-blooded animals. This feature makes them more common with reptiles. The name for these types of mammals comes from one of their features, which is having a single opening to both lay eggs and to pass their waste through. Anteaters, platypus, and four species of echidna are the only monotreme mammals around. They are located across Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. Although they don't give birth to young, the characteristics that make them mammals include nursing their young with milk, having hair, and the possession of three bones in the middle ear. It's believed that monotreme mammals were genetically left behind by the branch of mammals that went on to become either marsupials or placental mammals. Placental mammals. This type of mammal is a member of the infraclass placental and to the subclass eutheria. Of the three types of mammals, this class makes up a more significant portion of the animal kingdom. Placental mammals give birth to babies when young. These mammals are classified mainly by the presence of an organ called the placenta. This organ develops during gestation, which in turn facilitates the mother in exchanging nutrients and wastes between the blood of her own body and the fetus. Any mammal that doesn't fall into the monotremes and marsupial types are placental mammals. Some classifications and authorities consider the marsupial mammals to be placental mammals as well. But in fact, the placental type of mammals has a much more developed and more efficient type of placenta that allows for a longer development period within the protection of the womb. This well-developed placenta is a key factor that has contributed to the evolutionary success of this type of mammal as well. Some examples of placental mammals include tigers, blue whales, vampire bats, and of course, humans. Marsupial mammals. These are types of mammals that give birth to babies that have not completely developed. They are members of the infraclass marsupial. The babies that they give birth to are very tiny and are generally called joeys. Once born, the newborns crawl and get into a pouch on the outside of the mother's abdomen. The development stage of these newborns is completed within the pouch. During this time, the babies will feed on the mother's milk until they are fully grown or developed. Most marsupial mammals are found in Australia, with some in South and North America and New Guinea. Koalas, kangaroos, wallabies, Tasmanian devils, and opossums are some well-known marsupial mammals. We hope this has provided you with an easy guide to the three main types of mammals. Be sure to give this video a like, and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching Ranger Planet.